students in this tutorial uh, we are going to write a java program to check whether an input number is a perfect number or not so before uh, writing a program let's first understand what is a perfect number a perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisor excluding the number itself please remember excluding the number itself so uh, uh, let's take an example let's take a number 6 so uh, what are the positive divisor of 6 uh, 1 2 3 and uh, 6 is also a positive divisor of 6 but we are excluding the number itself so uh, let's uh, take the sum of its positive divisor 1 plus 2 plus 3 so it's a 6 so number an input number is equal to the sum of its positive divisor then it's a perfect number so 6 is a perfect number similarly the positive divisor of 28 is uh, similarly 28 is also a perfect number the positive divisor of 28 is 1 2 4 7 and 14 if we sum uh, sum these numbers then it's equal to 28 so number is 28 sum of its divisor is 28 so it's a perfect number uh, let's take another example this time uh, 10 this uh, the positive divisor of 10 is 1 2 5 the sum of its positive divisor are 8 so 8 is not equal to 10 so it's not a perfect number so uh, so we have understood what is a perfect number let's uh, write a code uh, to check uh, whether an input number is perfect or not let's declare some variable num um, let's uh, let's input a number let's write a code so first uh, first let's check whether a number is greater than 0 it means whether it's a positive number or not so if it's a positive number then it makes sense to check whether it's a perfect number or not otherwise we print them a message that please enter a positive number please enter a positive number so if number is greater than 0 then let's run a loop uh, which run from 1 to less than number and i plus plus so if if i input a number 6 then uh, it the loop will start from 1 and it's a run up to 5 and uh, let's uh, write uh, another condition which check if it's then sum equal to sum plus i so here what i am doing is first i have started a loop from 1 to uh, less than I input number then I'm checking whether number is divisible by I if it's divisible then let's uh, let's add this number in a sum variable so remember uh, we have already talked a perfect number is the sum of its positive division so so that's why we are using this if condition and taking a sum here so after this loop we can check if sum of its positive divisor is equal to the input number then our input number is a 
perfect number else it's not a perfect number so let's run let's run a code So there is some issue while running a code. Let's run this our let's run this code and check. So enter a number, let's enter six. Six is a perfect number. Uh, let's run one more time and this time let's enter another number. Suppose ten. Ten is not a perfect number. Uh, let's uh, this time let's enter 28 so 28 is a perfect number uh, let's do one more modification uh, instead of running a loop less than number let's run it half times why it's half time uh, let's see the pattern 6 and here is the divisor which we find uh, 1 2 3 similarly for 28 we find a divisor up to 14 so let's uh, run it a half time and check the output let's enter 6 6 is a perfect number let's enter 28 28 is a perfect number let's enter 10 10 is not a perfect number so uh, for more such programming videos you can subscribe our channel or you can visit our website www.cprogrammingcode.com i hope you have understood this program and the logic uh, to find a perfect number thank you for watching this video